Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel and welcome back to my tutorial series on installing Mod Organizer for Fallout New Vegas. Uh, you remember in the last episode we showed you how to install Mod Organizer into your Fallout New Vegas files and we also configured it to download mods and how to set up your profiles. In this episode we'll be going over some of the basics on how to run it and that would be namely New Vegas Script Extender. We'll talk about what it does and why it does what it does and then we'll also go over the 4 gigabyte New Vegas launcher and how to configure that to work correctly. So let's get right into it and let's go to our desktop. Alright guys here we go. Uh, we are ready to start this. Before we start I want to go ahead and show you something real fast. We go to the internet and on the wiki project, you know, wiki.step slash project.com, SRB, who was one of the, uh, you know, great guys who put together a uh, Skyrim Revisited guide for uh, modding your Skyrim game, has also done one for New Vegas, and it's primarily for Mod Organizer. And you can see it's Fear and Loathing in New Vegas, and it is a great guide, and I'll be using this as kind of a one-stop location for most of the things that we'll be doing in these videos and one of the reasons why I like it is that it has all the required code you go down like here you got to all your any tweaks uh, you've got uh, what we'll be working on here is extenders you know all the uh, ENB boost darnified UI it has a lot of the code already included in here as a one-stop location so my suggestion is you know I will include a link in the comments section Open this up, bookmark it. I have a bookmark. You can see it's right down here, Wiki Step Project. It is an invaluable tool just for getting the you know the codes that you need to insert to different places. So the section we're going to be working on today, and we'll just go down here to extenders and get this ready to go, is NVSE and why it's important. And NVSE is a key for modders developed by silverlock.org that opens up the scripts used by Bethesda coders to make great mods and without this key you can't access those mods which access the scripts in the coding done by Bethesda. Okay, makes sense? So what you're going to need is to go ahead and if you go to the uh, SRB site you can either go to NVSE and click on this and it will open the N New Vegas script extender file. I've already got it open and you can see a number of different things here and it's it's interesting reading but um i think that for the most part you know what you're looking for here is for brevity's sake is to get the stable version of 4.5 i've used the beta version on testing before with nexus mod manager but i think for this application just get the stable version download it and i've already downloaded it to my desktop and you can see it right here we'll bring this up and it is a 7z file, also a WinRAR file, whichever version you use. And you open this up, and you're going to find one file folder in there. I would just go ahead and drag it and drop it. Now, we'll clean this up a little bit, and we open this up. And you're going to find a number of files here that are in BSC related. The only ones we're interested in are anything that is not a text file, those two right there, and not SRC. This installation so far is very similar to Nexus Mod Manager you may have seen before. We're going to be doing one extra step, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's open up our game's disk, and we'll open a new window. And where we'll be putting this is in the main directory for Fallout New Vegas. And mine's in Steam. Steam Apps. Common. Fallout New Vegas. Okay. You can know you're in the right spot when the falloutnewvegas.exe file, the application is here, right? Not in the data file. We're not going to put anything in that data file. We're going to simply put these files into this directory. Now, the easiest way to do this is right, just control click anything that's not a text file. We don't want that text file. We want the DLL. We don't want that text file. We don't want SRC. Okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six files. Drag them, drop them in. Skip. Okay, something something happened. Evidently, during my testing, I left uh, files stuck in here. But um, they're in there now. They weren't in there before. That's kind of interesting. So, there you go. There's that. And uh, they're all in the 
in your file. Now, we can close that down. And we will close this down. Actually, we'll just minimize that. Now, when you open up file, New Vegas Model Organizer, you can see over here with my new Coca-Cola bottle cap, one little bit of magic will happen. NVSC will automatically populate into your executables. And that's great. You could actually play the game. Right? But there's one extra step that uh, we recommend. We're going to close this down. And we're going to go back to SRB's instructions. And this is a great way to, to make sure you do it in the right order. Okay. And he's going to tell you to extract the files, and we've done that. And the SRC and text files are not needed. Done that. Now, here comes the important part in the data. We'll open this up so we can read along as we do this. It says, in the data folder, okay, there's a data folder, in the data folder, right-click new folder. And we're going to create a new folder, new folder, and we are going to call it NVSE. Hit enter. Now, you open this up, there won't be anything in it, because, as per the instructions, open up the data NVSE folder, and we've got that data NVSE, so it's to data NVSE. And we are going to create a new text document. And we are going to rename that and just go ahead and uh, just do this. Just highlight this whole thing. NBSE underscore config dot any. Okay. Copy that. This is the easiest way to do it, guys. So you want to rename it. Just highlight the whole thing. Say we're including the dot DXT and paste and hit enter it's going to give you a warning and that's fine are you sure you want to change it yes i'm sure positive i promise okay now we now have our nvse underscore dot config dot any okay we want to open that and i open it with notepad plus plus but if you could open it this way it's another way of doing it i do it with notepad plus plus right like that and it'll open up a new file okay nvse underscore config dot any there we go. Now, on this, over here, open nvsc.config.ini and add the following. Memory, all in brackets, default heap initial allocate memory 400. Okay. And his notes basically tell us the value for default initial all allocate megabytes must be between 200 and less than 500. 400 seems the best value. Right. You may need to play around with it. You know, this is, you know, good information to know. So what I want you to do on this is highlight the whole thing, just like that. Copy it. Open up Notepad++ again, or your Notepad, and paste it in. And you hit Save. There you go. Close that down. Now you go back and open this up again. And you can see just some regular notepad, there it is. Right? That is done. All right? Let me close all this down. All right? So, let's move on. Now, if you open this up, nothing's going to change on this, but there is configuration in there. There we go. So, NVSE is ready to run. Close that down. Now, that is done and out of the way. You can now run the game if you wanted, but like I said, we're going to be doing the 4 gigabyte Fallout New Vegas launcher. And what this is going to do is allow more memory to be used when you run your game. It expands it from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes. And more memory is always good. All right. Now, if you go to SRB's website, you can get this by clicking on this link right here. But it'll go directly to the Nexus page. I don't have a description. Go directly to the Nexus page. And you'll notice that there is another, if you do a search, there is another 4 gigabyte Fallout New Vegas. This is the updated one. Okay, It's much newer, and I would say go ahead and get this one instead of the other one, the older one. So make sure it's the 4 gigabyte Fallout New Vegas updated. Okay. Go to your files. And you're going to download this manually. I, of course, have it on my desktop. And the procedure for this is very similar. Drag it, drop it on your, on your box, into your uh, desktop, and you open this up. Okay. Now, in this one, since it's similar to NVSE, we only need two files. 
the exe and the dll we will open up our games folder once again and we will go to steam steam apps common fallout new vegas okay now you'll notice that nvse is here ready to run okay and this is why we're doing this together is that you already have this idea of where things belong we're going to highlight both of these just control click and we're going to drag them over just like that and we're in okay. now you could run the game directly via this executable and you could create a shortcut over here but it's not recommended I want you to close this down. We're going to open up Fallout New Vegas Mod Organizer. There we go. And you'll notice it's not here. You think, well, it recognized NVSE. Why didn't it recognize the 4 gigabyte launcher? That's because it doesn't. We need to create an executable. And we are going to do this. You want to just highlight it and we are calling it uh, 4 gigabyte FNV. So, the name is correct. I want you to come over here, and I want you to search for your binary inside the browse file system. You click that right there. And you can see already, since I did a test run of this, let's go back and we'll make sure you get this correct. Games folder, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout New Vegas, and you can see the four Fallout New Vegas four gigabyte dot exe. That's the one we want, not the NVSE, NVSE, the four gigabyte launcher, and hit open. We're going to leave this arguments thing blank for the time being, but uh, we'll come back to that and I'll explain why in a little bit. So I'm going to unclick close mod organizer when started because I like having it open because I do a lot of testing and. Uh, it's always annoying. Just have to run it over and over. So when you're done, click Add. There you go. It's all done. There it is. And close it. So now when you come over here, you now have the four gigabyte Fault New Vegas launcher ready to go. Right now, if you've seen my other videos regarding Mod Organizer, you know I love having setting things in my toolbar. There it is. Okay. All ready to go. Now you could create one on your desktop. You see over here? It makes a mod organizer four gigabyte fault in New Vegas. Okay. You'd have to change the symbol. It would, I'd find that really annoying, but uh I don't do that. So I just run everything through mod organizer. I always open it. I always make sure my mods are and my profiles are correct before I run anything. Okay. But you can do it through your toolbar up here. All right. Now we are going to do a test run. I've got Steam ready to go. We're going to do a test run. Let's test our toolbar. And it's running the game. All right. So let's let this load up. All right. So we're at our loading screen. You know, 4 gigabyte New Vegas works. Uh, I want you to test something real fast. We're going to go ahead and hit the tilde key, which is, I'm going to turn my game volume down. There we go. That's a little easier. We're going to hit the tilde key, which you know is, opens the uh, con the console command box. And the tilde key is to the left of the one. So you hit that. You see a little, see a little uh, cursor open up here. And we're going to test to see if NVSC was recognized by the 4 gigabyte launcher. So what I want you to do is type in this uh, one word. Get NVSE version. V-E-R-S-O. I click this. All right, you can see NVSE version 4. It works. Okay, so now we can close that down, and we can quit. Just like that. You sure you want to exit the game? Yes. That, whew, it's loud. All right. Now, I know that worked, okay? I would already done test runs and, and did that. But, you know, under SRB's site, there's instructions regarding this. Um... If it does not work, I mean, if the game will not start, and you see it right here, if the game will not start with the 4GB loader in Mod Organizer, then follow the 
these instructions. Okay, we're going to open this back up. We're going to reduce it down so we can do this all at once. Okay. Next to the binary text, let's open this up and highlight Fallout 4 Gigabyte New Vegas. In the binary text, clicked this. We got that done. Fallout New Vegas, okay. In the arguments text box, type in this code. This should allow it to work. And this is one of the reasons why they want to use the uh, Fallout New Vegas 4 Gigabyte loader updated. Okay, remember this one? Why it's updated? That's why. There we go. Right. Oh my goodness. I'm so lame. All right. So in the arguments text box, which is right down here, okay, arguments text box is right here. Type in this code. Now, it's always easier to just do it this way. Highlight it, copy it, right, without quotations. See? Close this down. And add it into arguments. Paste. All right? And then what you would do is hit modify. And then close it. I don't need to do that because it runs it just fine without it. So I'm going to leave it blank. Um, but if it did not run it, try this code and this uh, executable and it should work you know srb is a good guy and i i trust what he says he's more of an expert than i am i'm just a video maker um so you hit modify and close i'm just going to close i'm not going to save that save it now okay there we go so every time you want to run the game open mod organizer hit your four gigabyte new vegas and run it and then open your game okay and close this down we're done. Now, with those two involved, you're going to have access to uh, all the mods that require NBSE, and you're also going to be able to run 4 gigabyte New Vegas. Um, and that's it. In the next video, we'll be covering Loot, uh, FNV Edit, and Rybash FNV. Those are all tools that you need for more advanced modding, but I want to make sure you have them installed on your onto your mod organizer. I'll show you where they belong and, and how to set up the executables for that, but that'll be a relatively quick and easy one. I won't show you how to use them because there's plenty of videos out there on how to do so. I've noticed uh, gamer poets are starting to use them as well. I'm starting to put up more videos as well. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful, and uh, I'll catch you next time for the next installment of my Fallout New Vegas modding series. My name is Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off! <laughs>